Hi, my name's Tom and I'm the survey technologist here at Candrone. Here today we've got the DJI P1 camera and today we're going to be checking it out in the field doing a photogrammetry mission and seeing how it performs in real world conditions. So, what do I really like about the DJI P1 camera? Well, first of all, it's really easy to use. Because it's completely integrated with the DJI ecosystem, that's the camera mated with the drone and the RTK system of DJI's, as well as the smart controller, all of that really makes a simple to use package. Secondly, the image quality of the DJI P1 camera is much better than any other DJI camera before it. With 45 megapixels, full frame sensor, and a global shutter, as well as the new smart oblique function, the DJI camera is really made for photogrammetry. So what does all this mean? It means two centimeter resolution on the ground from a 120 meter flight height. And lastly, what really interests me about the P1 system is its productivity and speed when matched with the M300 drone by DJI. With a 55 kilometer per hour speed, and 45 minute flight endurance, the M300 and P1 camera is bridging the gap with fixed wing drones while still maintaining the flexibility of a multi-rotor system. So without any further ado, let's go and check it out. So for this mission, we covered 15 hectares of mixed residential and forest and undulating terrain. Because of the number of vertical features in this site, we chose to test out the new smart oblique mode, which automatically captures images from five different oblique and nadir facing positions, giving us a much better coverage of the site. We flew a mission at a speed of 55 kilometers per hour and a flight height of 120 meters, which took about 10 minutes to complete the 15 hectare area. When we returned to the office, we processed the P1's photos in DJI Terra, which is their new photogrammetry suite. The data processing workflow was easy to follow and had all of the standard processing and export features that most software has these days. The results of the survey were really impressive, as we achieved less than two centimeters ground sampling density and our comparison of the model to the independent ground control points gave us a standard deviation of two centimeters between the two data sets. As a side note to these numbers though, it's important to note that the accuracy assessment of the P1 in this test was limited by the accuracy of the ground control survey itself, which was done by RTK GPS. What this shows is that the P1 system has the potential to attain an even higher level of accuracy if it's used with more accurate ground control. So, in conclusion, the DJI P1 camera, when paired with the M300 drone, is a high accuracy mapping solution that allows for high productivity and speed, almost comparable to a fixed wing drone while using minimal ground control points when used in RTK mode. After this review, the P1 gets our stamp of approval. Candrone provides sales, rentals, training, and data processing to help you get the results that matter most. Contact us today. So, if you'd like to see any more content like this, make sure you follow us, and we'll see you next time.